Hello everyone, Matthew here, and today we are going to be flying this Mark II space shuttle, which I have built here. So as you can see, this is a half American, half Buran setup with both SRBs and an engine on the external tank. And what you saw at the very beginning was a small little space station module in the space shuttle's payload bay. In case you didn't know, SRB is short for Solid Rocket Booster. Here we are separating the SRBs. As fuel is drained from the external tank, the center of mass starts to become more and more offset. This increases torque which makes the space shuttle very unstable during this here burn. So having that window open on the left allows me to gradually reduce throttle on the external tank engine alone, thus reducing torque and keeping the shuttle stable throughout the, the entirety of the burn. Of course, at the end of the burn, I end up reducing throttle on the external tank engine too much, which is the result of this here flip. So here we are just performing a short burn radial out to raise our periaps out of the atmosphere. So now we are in a safe circular orbit. So here I have a little fun with a camera from Junkyard Systems Incorporated. That is the name of the mod for Kerbal Space Program, which allows you to have these interactive screens in the IVA for all vehicles. So here we put our Kerbal out in EVA, I, I don't know which one that is, I forgot the name. But here we are going to be deploying this space station module that I had earlier. So this was intended to be an airlock for an asteroid base that I had, but I realized that I put that RCA RCS tank where the hatch would be. So this thing is basically useless to me, which is why I ended up destroying it later. But uh, here we have some nice cinematics with the space station module, and the, spa and the space shuttle, and the Kerbal. Now we are having some fun with the space station module itself, and we're gonna push it away from the space shuttle now. So now we are performing a deorbit burn that will put us on a trajectory where we should, in theory, land at the space center. So here you see me using the JSI monitors to do the majority of the re-entry in IVA. So with these navi balls you can see what I do, what I do is I oscillate by rolling the shuttle to the to the left, then to the right and pitching up and down to slow the space shuttle down as well. So once I get close enough to the space center, I turn the whole space shuttle into a speed break and kill off the majority of my velocity, but that ends up with me being very dangerously close to stalling, so I end up making a short burn to regain some speed to be able to glide back to the runway.
And we touch down, then deploy the drag chutes, and just like that, the space shuttle comes to a stop near the space plane hangar. So here we are getting out our crew, and thank you so much for watching, everyone. Goodbye!